it's Miranda, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey for the first time, subscribe, become a member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Right now we are having an international giveaway that's ending soon, all the links will be below for that. So the other day I was just perusing the YouTubes and I came across a lot of people talking about this flawless foundation hack. Now any type of hack or trick that will help my foundation or makeup in general stay on better throughout the day is one that I'm interested in. And the video in particular that really made me want to try this trick was the one from BuzzFeed which has been trending for the past week. The hack is that instead of the typical order where you would do primer, foundation, setting powder, instead you do primer, powder, foundation, and then powder again. And this is supposed to create a really airbrushed look and one that will stay all day. So I really wanted to try it for myself because in reality, if one extra step in my routine makes that big of a difference and it's still with the same products, I don't have to go out and buy another product, uh, yeah, I can definitely get on board with that. So I don't have any foundation on right now. I know, it's surprising. I wanted to test this hack by doing one side of my face with the extra step and one side of my face, just the regular routine, and then I will check in throughout the day and tell you how it's going. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer and because I have combo skin I am trying to kind of balance out um, hydrating products versus all the powder we're going to be putting on the face because I'm a little bit nervous. So the first layer of primer goes all over. And you guys know that I usually do my face first and not my eyes and then my face so this is a little bit different and difficult for me. Do you do your eyes before your face or the other way around? Let me know in the comments because everyone says that I do it wrong. <laughs> the next step is powder for the half of my face that I'm going to be doing the hack on. So I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder and apply that to the left side of my face only. I would imagine, you know, just like putting down a base shade after primer on the eyes, maybe this will help things blend out easier as well. Now it's time for foundation all over the face. And for this I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Aqua Mousse Foundation. Again, one that's a little bit on the hydrating side just to balance all this out because the last thing I need is some obvious dry patches. So I'm going to put on the unpowdered side first. And apparently this trick is also supposed to give better coverage to your foundation which I'm very curious about. I mean, most of the foundations I use on a day-to-day -day basis are already pretty great coverage just because I need it, um, but I will not say no to a little extra help. And now starting on the primer powder foundation side. So upon application, I'm not seeing it like apply any differently. I had a pretty dark spot up here, and I have some dark spots here, and it's less noticeable on the side that I powdered first. So that's the first thing that I'm noticing. Then the last step is powdering on both sides. <laughs> on first, like, hearing about this, it sounded like it was going to be super, super cakey and thick and just, like, not nice. But I have to say that it doesn't feel that way. I mean, if you're using the right powder, and not really, really, you know, layering it on, it still feels pretty lightweight. But like I said, that's why I'm also balancing with more moisturizing products. Like I probably, I wouldn't want to use this trick on a matte foundation just particularly because I have combo skin. So this side is the one that I used my normal routine. So primer, foundation, then powder. To me, it looks pretty good. I didn't use concealer for this hack because I just wanted to see, you know, how much coverage we got. So that's why you can still kind of see my hyperpigmentation on this side. And this side is the one that I used the hack. So I did primer, powder, foundation, powder. And here I had most of my problems on the forehead on this side and I have to say they're barely visible. A lot less visible than this is. So off the top of my head, I would say that the hack definitely gave me a nice extra layer of coverage. So we'll see it. I also had some problem right here, but you can't really see the discoloration. Let me finish the rest of my face because I want to see how like bronzer and blush apply on top of this. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Rimmel Cake Contour Kit. Interesting. 
that side looks so much better, right? Or is it just in my head? All right, now taking the blush from the same palette. And now highlight. The only big difference that I saw in applying the rest of my face makeup is that the contour blended a lot easier on this side. Everything else looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to wear it throughout the day and I'll check in with you to tell you how it's going. And I'm going to at least wear it until 7 p.m. So that's going to be eight hours from now. It is 11.18. And the only reason I may cut it off at 7 p.m. is that if it looks really crazy, I'm going to have to redo my makeup for a party I'm going Checking to. Checking in, it is 12.49. There you go. So it's been a little bit over an hour. And both sides are looking pretty good. I will say that I see a little bit of shine coming through on the side where I did not do the extra powdering step. I've been packing because we're moving and I've been throwing out stuff. It's actually a little bit warm today in LA and uh, I do see a little bit of shine coming through on the right side of my face. So we'll see. The coverage still looks really good. I'm going to go out to lunch right now with a friend and I will check in when I get back. Hey everyone, so it is now 4.07, so it has been a good few hours, and here's what I'm noticing with my foundation. So just to preface, it is about 98, 99 degrees outside, and I've been out at lunch, not necessarily spending a lot of time in the sun, but the heat is definitely coming in hot. Um, and what I'm noticing in terms of wear time on both of these sides, the most obvious part is how my face makeup is fading on the side I did not do the hack on. It seems to be fading in a little bit more of a patchy manner where on the side I did do the hack on while my blush is kind of faded, everything still looks even. It doesn't look patchy. On this side, I see a little bit of patchiness around my highlight and my contour. And then on top of that, just like in my T-zone area, I feel like I definitely have more shine and oil coming through and breaking up my foundation on the side that I did not do the hack on. So far, the hack is kind of winning in terms of performance, although I've got a couple of pimples on the hack side that are showing through, but they're on my chin and they're probably showing because of the reason they're there in the first place because I rest my head on my hand a lot. So I'm just going to check in one more time before the end of the day, but so far, um, it's kind of no question that the side with the hack definitely looking better throughout the day. Hey everyone, so it is now 7.05, so this is my last check-in. I feel like, well, in general, I tend to choose to wear uh, mostly long-lasting foundations, but in terms of the foundation hack and adding that extra step of powder after primer, the main differences I've seen is the fact that the contour went on smoothly, I have less shine on this side of my face, and you can kind of see it here in the light as well. I've got a little bit more reflection on this side and my face makeup faded a little less and uh, more evenly than on this side. Other than that, I feel like the differences are very subtle and I mean that could just be the products that I use versus products that other people use and have gotten really great results from this hack. On both sides I can see a little bit of my acne poking through. So this one up here which was really really well covered in the beginning is starting to show through and this is the side I powdered and then here I don't feel like it got any like terribly worse throughout the day, it just kind of poked out a little bit more. But also keep in mind I did not use concealer just because I really wanted to test the effect of this hack. So had I been wearing concealer to really, really cover these up, could have had a different story. But I would do this again if I know that I'm going to be at an event or I need my makeup to really, really, really hang in there all day. But otherwise, I really didn't feel like it did such a huge difference that I'm going to be doing this every single day. What do you think? Do you see a huge difference in both sides of my face so again this is the one I did the hack on and this is the one I did my normal routine on let me know so that was me testing the flawless foundation hack what did you think did you think it was gonna work were you surprised let me know in the comments also if you have tried this and if you like me testing out these different beauty trends hit the thumbs up button and let me know what you want me to try next thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button if you're already a slashed squad member high five hit the bell button so you know every time a new video goes live I make new videos every week and I will see you in my next one bye